find the standard equation of the following parabola. y squared minus 8y minus 12x plus 15 is equal to 0. Well, right away with that y being squared, I know my standard equation that I'm trying to write this as is a y minus k all squared equals 4p times x minus h. So I'm going to get the y's on one side, get the x's on one side. Because, well, that's how that equation is structured. And now what I see that I need to do is I need to have a y minus something else squared. I need to complete the square. So here's another moment in mathematics where completing the square is an incredibly useful tool. I look at my quadratic that's in the form of a 1 times the square term. 1 times y squared minus 8 times y. And I divide that middle term by 2. Minus 8 divided by 2 is minus 4. And I square that number. And then I do the same thing to both sides. Because, well, that's what we do with equations. And so I've added 16 to both sides. And now I'm ready to write this down in its standard form. So let's see here. This left-hand side factors into y minus 4 all squared. And here I have a 12x plus 1. All right, so let's see what happens now. I need to rewrite that side. y minus 4 all squared. And I need this to be an x well, either plus or minus something here is going to be a plus, and I have to factor out a 12. And when I do that, I end up with a 1 12th right there. And so from here, we could write down where the vertex is at minus 1 12th comma 4. We could even go through and find where the focus is, because now I know that p is equal to 3. y is being squared, so this is a parabola that faces off uh, to the right. And so the y coordinate's not going to change. I need to add 3 to minus 1 12th. All right, and then we'd simplify that into 35, uh, 35 over 12 and keep going. And I think it's a good idea for you to now um, finish this, find the directrix axis symmetry, and graph this parabola. But that's it for now.